I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. This week, we have all kinds of things going on in the technical background department. You notice here, we have the Rode NT1 microphone. I told you the next show I did, even though that was some time ago, <laughs> is going to feature the Rode NT1 microphone, and I really like this microphone. The other thing we're doing different this week is, let me see if I've got it here handy. Do I have it here handy? Yes, I do right here behind me. <laughs> you can tell I planned to do this. No, I didn't. This is the HD60 Pro. Let me get it closer to my face so it'll be a little more in focus. The HD60 Pro uh, video capture card, which I have installed. This is the box, but I've installed it in my computer. And, of course, that is what I'm running the video through. Now, the video is coming from my Canon SL2 DSLR. So here's what I'm doing. I'm coming out of the HDMI port in the Canon SL2 through an HDMI cable plugged into the uh, HD60 Pro Elgato card. Then I've got the NT1 microphone here, and that's how I'm doing the show. Oh, and as if that wasn't enough change because we're doing lots of change. We also have open broadcasting software, OBS, that I'm using to record the show. So how is that for you? Okay. So we got all kinds of changes this week here on the program. Now, let me show you the OBS software. Okay, here we are at the website for open broadcaster software. This is the software that I'm featuring this week on the uh, netcast because I want to show you what we went through to get all this set up. As you can see, as we scroll down here, it has tons of features. And uh, it's, you know, the website is pretty self-explanatory. But check this out. You can stream to Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook, all kinds of different streaming locations that you can go with this software. Now, let's close this out and open up the software. And as you can see, I'm on the screen. <laughs> so, uh, this is what I use to do the intro, obviously. And uh, you can see that I have the Elgato uh, HD60 Pro card set up here. I also have the Rode NT1 which is where I'm getting my uh, audio from. I just moved that. Hopefully it didn't mess the audio up that much. But at any rate, you can see how that works. And uh, basically what, are you, what you're doing is you're setting up what's called scenes, which scene is kind of an interesting way of putting it. Uh, I would tend to look at it as configurations because each one of these is a different configuration. Now this configuration is for the Canon SL2, which is what I'm using to do the video here. And I'm going to bring the mic in just a little closer. Uh, but then I could add sources. In this case, this is a video source. And if I open this up, there we go. Then you can see that I have the Game Capture, the HD60 Pro Game Capture card. Capture card. I have it set up for 1920 by 1080. Uh, I'm running it at uh, 25 FPS. Uh, I can set that differently. As a matter of fact, I actually thought I had it set on uh, 29 point, uh, what is it? 29 point 97 for NTSC. I bet if I did it now, it would be bad. <laughs> so I probably, well, actually I could because I'm recording the screen differently at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. I thought I'd already done that. So there you go. There's a change. <laughs> so now let's look at the uh, configuration here on the Rode NT1. 
it's pretty straightforward. You just choose the NT uh, one's interface, which is the AI one, which runs it into the USB. And once you do that, you're pretty much set. You can just set the volume down here. Now, what I've done is I've turned off the volume from all other sources. Okay, so that even the Elgato card and the desktop audio, everything else is turned off here within OBS. Then I can come over here. I can start recording. I can start streaming. I can go into studio mode. Now, if I go into studio mode, it gives me two screens. So I can set up a configuration over here for a second camera. And that second camera could be set up here to where I could transition back and forth between two cameras. Okay? So when they say scenes, that's what they're talking about, is setting up different scenes. All right? So, uh, my wife just sent me a message about Florida. Cool. I may look into that. We may take off to Florida. You never know. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, so, but I'll take it out of studio mode now. Go back to the single mode. And uh, we'll go ahead and close that out because that could be a little distracting. Uh, and we will pick this up with the rest of the show. But I want to just show you kind of an overview of the software. All right, so what did you think of that? I'm going to move this closer to me again. Uh, what did you think of, of the OBS software? Now, this is our Geek Software of the Boot Week. I forgot to mention that because I'm talk, going to talk about uh, some of the trials and tribulations I've had uh, getting all this set up. Uh, the first thing I tried, let me reach over here. First thing I tried was my old uh, HD, what is it? It's here on the bottom. Here you go, Vixia HFM50. The Vixia HFM50, which is, uh, is a nice little camcorder. All right. Uh, it's actually a better camcorder than some of the old ones I used to use back in the day on the program. I'm going to put it back over here. Uh, so I used it because it has HDMI out as well. So I could use the same cable to go to the OBS software to the camcorder. Uh, but the SL2 has better quality, obviously, being a DSLR. And so that's why I'm using it, okay? Uh, I tried a webcam. I actually tried the, uh, reach around here. <laughs> All right, boy, I'm knocking things around here. Hopefully you're not hearing too much of that. Uh, but this is the uh, Logitech, get it back here where it's in focus. The Logitech, Logitech uh, 920. Okay, it also records in HD. Uh, 1080p as well. Uh, so I tried that, and that worked okay. That was okay. Uh, wasn't exciting. I'm going after a higher quality look. Now remember, I said I'm going to drop it over here in a case. It's in a case, don't worry. Uh, but uh, I'm shooting for higher quality, as I said. And I said that this year was going to be the year of audio, which is why I've got the Rode NT1 large condenser microphone. That's why the audio sounds so quiet and crisp and smooth, <laughs> okay? Uh, as I said, I'm running it into the uh, AI1 USB interface. So that puts it into the computer. Then with the Elgato card for video capture, I'm capturing the video out of the Canon SL2. So, there you go. Now, you may say, well, Dr. Bill, this is all very complicated. <laughs> Why are you doing all this? Because I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest to make the program as high a quality visually and audio-wise as I possibly can. And that's what we're doing. Now, you may say to yourself, self, you may say, um... Why don't you have a lot of other content this week on the program? Because as much as anything, this is a test of the new technology that I'm using to do the program. Okay? Uh, so, stay tuned. There will be more content to come. All right? But if you are looking into these kinds of technologies, you may find this very, very interesting. Okay? So that's why I wanted to show it to you. And just... Enjoy the fact that all of my planning and plotting over the last few weeks 
has finally kind of come together, okay? So there you go. My kind of odd lighting outfit here that I have, which I'll show you one day how weird it is, and my new tech. I like new tech, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. Join us again next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillDaily.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.